Okay, all we need here is a, uh, is for some shit to fall and then slide down it, and this will be a classic Tomb Raider escape. Oh yeah, here we go. Wait, wait, there it is. Okay, not very long, but at least it worked. It did happen. Wait, what are you doing, Lord? Holy shit. She just jumped at the wall instead of going through the damn thing. And they just stabbed her to death. Oh, we're good. We're all good. Alright, they'll never find me down here in this extremely obvious pit where the uh, their, hey, Laura, their friend if fell. You can, head back. Uchu has something he wants to ask you. I think it's a favor. Kinda weird. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. <laughs> I love how they just stop chasing us completely. All right, uh, let's go to wherever that is. Ooh, and it's a campfire here. Let's see, we should have gotten some points there, at least some stuff for upgrades. I would like to get the hallucinogenic arrows. Ring arrows, this would be nice as well. Man-made crafted resources, it's somewhere around here. Don't really care about that. Enemies reduce damage and falling from heights. Again, don't really care about that because there it honestly doesn't. It doesn't seem like there's much fall damage in this game. Like it's either you die or you are fine. I, I, I've never really understood their fall damage system. It seems kind of weird. Build traps with using survival instincts. Not nice. Heart of a large animal while using survival instincts. Hearts, hard shots inflict massive damage. Pretty cool. Actually, that sounds really useful. How's your day, man? Big Bubble of my day has been really good, my man. I've, uh, I'm well rested today, which is really nice. I, again, had a fire alarm doing that weird low battery annoying beep thing, so I had to replace that. But other than that, it was, it was really nice, peaceful, relaxing. It's been good. It is a good Friday, Big Bad. It is indeed. So I am going hiking early tomorrow morning, so I'm kind of excited about that as well. How about you, man? How has your day been? All right. Um, where, where is this arrow thing? I have lure arrows. Try to kill nearby enemies with poison clouds when triggered. Obscured lines of sight. Might actually save up for that. Just be bad. I bet it got better when I came. Of course, big battle. How could it not? The presence of a giant ferocious beast that devours men. That, that devours men. How that not enrich, enrich my day. It's better with you, mate. Hell yeah. Thank you very much, man. I'm glad to hear that. All right, so let's take a hard left here. Unaratu must be worried about Etsli. Aww, look at this I have to tell her he's been captured. Okay, yeah, that's right. So they did—they did capture that big uh, prince dude. Let's see what this guy has to sell. Will you that's wrong. I only eat old pennies. I barely made enough to offer in tribute. Right. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. That's they fair. demand half of all profits earned on market. Still, day. though, I value my but grandmother. But if they think I tried to short them, I understand. Thank you. What? What is she worrying about? Serpent wood bow, an ancient shortbow crafted from the heartwood of an uh, ipe tree. Draw speed and hold time are the strength of it. Long range bow's construction is inspired by the same mechanics as the ancient atlachtalada. Strength damage, that seems nice. So you could buy some arrows, but there's no real reason to. Um, so, wow, we have literally no money. Oh, We're all of us ready our money. to trade. Google Khan, Serpent of the Nine Winds, looks exactly right. Yes, indeed, big bad boy. So we have like zero gold. You could probably trade some shit, but I'm not gonna worry about it. We're we're doing fine with the weapons we currently have, so it's not that big of a deal. Your foot fell asleep, well Witten! You should position it differently. Have some knowledge of myths also nice! Yeah, that's uh it, we're definitely talking about a serpent. The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukul Khan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the Weird. bee colonies collapsed. 
Then the cocoa crop failed. So they The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow. So they're bringing the in stalks new are flimsy. methods of we agriculture. Must take action, or Paititi will suffer a tremendous And it's just famine. killing all the crops. That seems kind of dumb. That seems kind of really dumb. Divine creature, godly creature, be exact. Yeah, and it's bringing about the apocalypse right now, as I believe what's going on. Cool, map updated, got some secrets. Yeah, we'll go grab some of those when we're exploring around if we can. And... The this legend Spanish document relates to one of the many stories of El Dorado, the golden one. When the first Spanish exploration ships returned home with their holds full of gold, the news spread like wildfire, and the stories got more extravagant with each retelling. Rumors of the golden city gave birth to countless expeditions to the new world. All right, cool. Let's loot this up, and... Uh, it's like Fenrir from Norse mythology. And Fenrir is... All full up. Can't carry any more. I'm assuming a big-ass snake. That's, that is that is what I'm assuming, since this is also a big-ass snake. All right, cool. We are here, and it is now. So literally right up there. I, it might be at the top of the mountain. I don't know. No, no, I think this is it. Yeah, very good. Hatsley's been captured. I know. They're holding him at the barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, giant wolf in the apocalypse. Gotcha. He's a warrior. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's why it's apocalypse related. Uh, related. What's I that? See. Oh, just this little thing I found in the temple. This it's a holy key. artifact. It looks like. It looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It did. I stole it. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box of each shell connected to the barracks? Is that why the cult occupied the temple? I think, yeah, it is. When we go in, it has to be sudden, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. Did you I say treacherous? That is my Perhaps. middle name. You Lara, did survive the sacrificial pit. Treacherous. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. Cheese. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. Let's go. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Etsley, then go find the box. Big battle of with real fight with Kubathan. We are Laura Craft! No one can boop us. We're gonna win, succeed. Actually, I, th I think we're gonna get KugelCon on our side. I think that's kind of the goal. Maybe. All right. Uh, let's go. I don't know. We're trying to keep a low profile. I would go. Only I can't abandon my post here, and time is running short. It would mean a lot to Queen Umaratu in the rebellion. Hey, what's up, Jenna? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, they're still keeping Jenna, I think. Maybe? What was Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. <sighs> that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's yes, the hope it does. for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Edsley's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the champion's bow, Side and the quest. Horn, Let's go. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me Ooh, what you need, and I wonder if we get a cool bow do. from this. That'd be nice. I already have men retrieving the amulet and ah, bow. Damn if it. we could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. I could 100% do that. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. B 
Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. Cool, let's go. Let's go get a big ass horn and uh See what we can do with it. I assume we just give it to the guy, but I'm hoping we get some sort of reward besides uh Besides just experience, like maybe a cool weapon or something like that. We just kill and destroy everything with what we, uh, with that, we'll get rid of the threat too. I don't know, the people we're talking to are trying to get through, get, uh, prevent the threat. I feel like if we just kill and destroy everything, um, <laughs> then they will not be able to fight the evil that is rising up. I think. Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. So I'm gonna say probably not, but we can just kill and destroy all the evil people. Actually, almost certainly that's what we're gonna do. Alright, so it's just right up here to the right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, here's the wife. Well, I, I hate when it minimizes wait. our it's the Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unurato's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go. The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but... Ah, uh, so now you're gonna get herbs... That's and terrible. Et cetera, et cetera. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Well, all right, let's go, <laughs> let's go do that as well. People can never do stuff for themselves, chat, in this game, at least. All right, here's the market. Yeah, there it is. Excuse me. Wait. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. You be well as well, lady. Locate Kuali. Who is this boy being punished, I think? And this is the market, right? Oh, no, it's not the market. It's like up and around. What do you think about the mission variety? It's been interesting so far. It definitely has. It's, it's definitely more uh, prevalent in the game than in previous games. They've definitely upped how many there are and which ones you can do. Um, and they're not as just like basic fetch and retrieve often they're like they interact with multiple NPCs that sort of deal uh, so they're pretty good so far I I've enjoyed them they're obviously not like the best but they're decent uh, by and large in the side missions it, it as always kind of feels a little bit like uh, the game could be would be absolutely fine without them um, because that's kind of just how Tomb Raider games are Ooh, we need we need that But it does add at least a little bit to the game, I, should, I would say. The entire games, I know which are three is the best mission variety. It's definitely up there. It definitely a is. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. But these games That's are not designed elite, don't you think? in the same. You really want to know what I think? I think Open we should round up these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially you, Mil. It's similar, His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. There's definitely a lot of differences. Okay. So. Talk to young Mil. Turn around! Come on, hit him! Hit him! Oh, uh, if only I could. We actually may end up hitting him, but <laughs> not yet. Wait, is this not? Oh, it's not him. What the hell? Little thief should be punished. See, I feel like even on the hardest difficulty, they should leave the compass because all it really all it all it results in is you just checking the map over and over, which is kind of lame. I mean, it, it doesn't really add anything to the game to have to tab over and over and over again to find out where you're going. It, and it doesn't, it doesn't make it harder, it just makes it 
more tedious, right? It's not really a, it's not really a difficulty thing. Um, I get that they want to remove the UI as much, but a compass on the screen is, I mean, you have a compass, you would have a compass in real life. It just seems kind of odd. Uh, anyway, what's up, child? Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki from the outside, right? I am, yes. yes. It's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It it's is quite game. satisfying. That's my true. My father yes. is a serpent guard, a priest. Although, wait, I don't think you're attacking enemies in this game. Show my friends, you mean the Witcher? Shimali, the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, and now we gotta see climb. What I can do. <laughs> Let's go climb. Wow, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Retrieve the knife. I assume it's... Yeah, right up there. Oh. <laughs> that was extraordinarily easy. I was assuming it was gonna be like way, way up there, but no, not at all. Uh, not in the game, nor in Dark Souls. I just love that freedom that allows me to attack anyone I want. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, no wait, it is in Dark Souls. You can attack anyone you want in Dark Souls, Big Bad Wolf. Who can you not attack in Dark Souls? Oh wait, that's, oh there it is. Boom. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Head kill him, absolutely. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. Shh. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to It death. just means outsider. He can't do anything. And You're Chimali just the, the outsider for him. this area. Would Chamali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. Knives, <laughs> enjoy go. the lurk, man. Asko, I appreciate it. Ramey, see you, me. Samin, watch our backs. Friday. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. No, not like unwanted. Just it just means the the individual who is not from here. You'll end your life as a slave. Come taste my blade. <laughs> yeah, and these llama patties too. Run, run! Little thieves should be punished. Please, they were just herbs. I beg you, I'll work. Your brother told me of your troubles. Hell? Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. <laughs> that voice acting though. All right. Let's go. Return, Camille. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of instances where they limit your movement speed in this game, which is a mechanic I am pretty much never fond of. Uh, but that's okay. That means that the jester he did at the beginning, like bowing. I have no idea. I assume he was just bowing to me, or being respectful. I I don't know. Ooh, that was weird. I bumped my mouth. There's there it is. I thought I told yeah. you to go. Kuali is safe, and I have the herbs your wife needs. Now give me the really? damn horn! And did you come to cure her, or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the <laughs> horn. Here, with respect to the future king. Thank you. Kabil, it has Kabil. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right. Let's uh go return. And I, I assume we're just going to get experience from this, but it would be nice to get something cool. Like a weapon. That would be quite nice. <laughs> Quit being a custard killer, Kabil. That's right. <laughs> that is right. He did... The guy who gave us mission did say he was kind of an ass, and the wife dulled his edges uh, when... And that was why we were talking to her in the first place, so... Feels good. 
I don't have enough space for that. Right, yeah, okay, perfect. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. They the are indeed. I'm a badass, Chad. I am a badass. You, you were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu. What did you mean, last to leave and first to return? Oh God! The please don't tell me that. The other two items they both left three days ago. No, we're gonna go get all the other two items. Happened well. to them. It's Quinty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Uh. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quinty perfectly. I never should have sent Quentin yeah, to death. Yeah, let's place. let's go do what some more fetch and retrieve. Jack. The old sister. It's where the remains of Manco are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manco? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He cool. is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manco hidden away? Manco's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power. They tried to wipe out the order. Manco was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. Huh. But over okay. time, as Let's the order go. dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. <laughs> the entrance to the cistern is a cave above That'd the white cool. tree. Follow the trail. It'll lead you, you to there. it. Very cool. All right. And hopefully we don't have to go get both of these. We just have to get this one. The Savior's Amulet. Bo Rai Cho from MKX. I have zero clue big but what that is, but cool. I assume he's some sort of, this individual is some sort of Pacific Islander who is in M MKX. I don't even know what MKX is, to be honest. Magical Kings 10. All right. So we just take a, a hard right here. And go through uh, what looks like the rice patties. Oh, Mortal Kombat tent. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. So I actually want to stay up up top of it. You can check it from Google real quick, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, absolutely. I th actually, I think I do know who you mean uh, once you say Mortal Kombat. I mostly just didn't know the abbreviation. Really cool. They, Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine. If entrance. anything, the environmental design of this game is incredibly well. Head open it. Thanks. Look at that. That's crazy looking. Okay. Let's grab some XP. We should be we should be pretty close to another level, I believe. And then yes, we just I think just climb right through here. Hell yep. Yeah. Alright. Here go. it is. <laughs> I need to be careful. <laughs> Let's get a gun. Wait, what? Why? Why don't we just use our bow? And why was there like a whole scene about? That's kind of an odd cutscene. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it was really strange. <laughs> Gather some hardwood and should look at our map real quick. So it looks like it's just pure. Oh, Jesus Christ! I actually thought I'd fall in there, which, which, I, which I think is is the point. I mean, you're... <laughs> they definitely I feel like have up the kind of jump scare aspects of this game from the previous. Two. 
Sure, let's get, and we do have three skill points now, so we can start grabbing, I think, this. Craft lure arrows to try to kill nearby enemies with a poison cloud when triggered. This is awesome. Hold to craft a lure arrow. It requires silent arrow cloth and venom. These arrows attract nearby enemies and detonate on proximity, releasing a deadly gas cloud. Look at this guy with his face and his shirt. He makes me sick. That's right. I agree, Classified. These, these Twitch.tv streamers who wear their face and have their shirts. I can never understand it, Classified. I can never understand it. Wait a second. What? <laughs> Welcome, Midma Man. It's good to see you, dude. We're looking for some time, man. Enjoy your lurk and enjoy your dead cells, dude. Have a good one. I missed it. I couldn't play any games for a long time. Cause I assume because you're taking care of your sister, my man. Nice. Good luck in dead cells. Ah, that was kind of cool. So there are three different arrow types we could make if we wanted to. Cool, let's go. How have you been uh, classified? How's school treating you? Grab that and... <laughs> you did more math, nice. Learning more about natural numbers, I assume. Maybe, possibly, sort of. Oh, <laughs> Yay, math and right track. <laughs> Yay for the maps. Careful. The ship al chuco so okwautan tak belama. Yeah, easy. We actually got that guy right as he aggroed to which seems nice. A set of all natural numbers is an ordinal or something. Something maybe. Hmm. And what is an ordinal classified? Enlighten my pitiful mind. All right. Oh, well, that was, that worked well. I wonder if we have to shoot bodies with this lure or if we can just kind of shoot anything and they'll blow up and kill in these. Let's actually check. This looks like the right place. There's the gate I need to open. OP. Oh my god, it just one shots him with armor and everything. A complete and well ordered set is an ordinal. Hmm. I like that you phrase that as a question. I'm gonna say that sounds right to me. Dude, that is insane. Okay, well. I think this guy may come over here and search for us, and when he does, we should be able to stealth kill him. Oh. This calls for a machine gun jet! Now, I need to open that gate. Easy! Don't get me started on completeness. Nothing is ever complete. We know that, Classified. Love bringing guns to a rock dog fight right out there. They're like, ugh! And we're literally shooting them in the face. Feels good. <laughs> Feels good.
Make some more fire arrows, since we have more than enough. Oh, we're completely out of ammo. Yikes, okay. Well. Is that it's complete if every element of it is also a subset of it? Which does make sense. Wait, okay. Then classified, what if every, what if, what if every element of it is, wait, okay, wait, let me, let me, let me rephrase this. What if every element of a set is a subset of it, and then there are also extraneous elements that are not subsets of it, but are part of the set? Does that disqualify it from being complete, even though it has all, all possible subsets of it inside of it? <laughs> you said words! I did say words. I said all the words. If if a uh, set has all possible elements that are subsets of it in it, uh, but also has extraneous elements that are not subsets of it,